Hey, I'm Ryan, and this is my 2020 Dodge Promaster. It's a 159 wheelbase, which I think is kind of like the sweet spot uh, where it's still easy to maneuver around town, and I was able to fit a ton of stuff inside. Um, what I've been doing is buying brand new vans and converting them and putting them up for sale. Uh, this one's actually already sold, uh, but if you like it, uh, subscribe and um, I'm gonna be building three more vans uh, next few months um, which will also be for sale so uh, you could message me on Instagram if you're interested I'll put a, a link uh, in the description um, but come on in and take a look so when you enter there's uh, two switches here this is the water pump and this switch here controls the front six LEDs. Uh, we've got dual swivel seats. Um, two burner propane stove here. Um, I've got a deep, uh, deep sink here, stainless sink. This also pulls out if you want to uh, spray outside. Uh, soap dispenser, um, paper towel holder. Um, I built this shelf up here for some storage and also to uh, deal with this section. If you've built ProMasters, you know that section's a little weird. Um, and then also under here, store the cutting board, which fits right in here. Gives a little extra counter space. Also have the Lagoon table mount, just swivels out. Could also be used like this. And uh, that also converts into a second bed for a child or a small drunk friend, which I'll show you in a minute. Not the drunk part, just the, uh, the small bed part. <laughs> got a isotherm 12 volt stainless fridge it's got a little freezer compartment there quartz countertop here uh, we've got some storage cubes under here there's four of them there's another one behind here so it fits four two in the front and two in the back um, I've got a mount here uh, for a, a through axle bicycle that's a second mount. I also have one in the back. Uh, normal storage up here. I've got two Max Air fans on the remote. So one back here and one in the back of the van. Full size mattress. Um, the uh, smart TV can run off your phone um, and you can play Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, whatever, YouTube TV. Um, the cabinets all have these uh, marine latches. So it stays locked, doesn't rattle or anything. Uh, there's another switch next to the bed which controls just the rear two LEDs. So when you're in bed, um, you don't have to get up to come over to the switch over here to turn these off. Um, let's see, over here we've got your inverter, uh, which is on right now. This will turn it off. The only thing that runs on the inverter actually is the television. Um, and I have uh, some outlets throughout the van, but everything's running off 12 volt, which conserves power. Got your uh, battery monitor there. And this is the uh, diesel heater. Chinese diesel heater, which uh, has one vent there, which uh, will keep the water tank from freezing. And a second vent comes through here, out here, and I have it all boxed in. Uh, the second cushion's under there right now, um, which will make this uh, second bed. Uh, but there's a ton of storage under here. As you can see, this is my hardwired funnel. As you can
can be used for both male and female, judging by the shape of this. <laughs> um, let me uh, convert the bed and show you what that looks like. So this table just pops out like that. Then you can uh, loosen these up. This pulls out. It actually um, can lock in place on the track here, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, and then this fits right in here, like this. Grab your other pad. And these um, are built a little bit oversized, so they kind of squeeze in, so you won't feel the seam as much. So this is what it looks like when the second bed is all in place. Um, it's a little short for an adult, unless you kind of sleep in like the fetal position, but um, um, it'll fit a child just fine. Um, it's pretty comfortable actually. Even if uh, you want to use it kind of like a couch, take a little nap during the day. Under the sink here, we just have some more storage and the um, uh, propane tanks uh, connected under here. Uh, just your standard propane tank, so you can just exchange these anywhere. And I have it uh, teed off and going to the back for the water heater um, for the shower. So. Um, in the back, we have a 25-gallon water tank and um, a heated shower. So let's go to the back, and I'll show you that. Okay, so coming into the back, we've got a switch here with some LED garage lights. Really bright at night. Um, and there's also a pass-through here. So when you're in bed, you can reach your hand down, turn this on and off and also uh, reach the door latch if you want to open the door. Um, we've got a 25 gallon water tank here and um, I've got a couple different ways to fill it up. I've got this 50 foot hose here with a uh, quick connect on it, um, which is somewhere around there. And uh, the other way to fill it up, if you don't have access to pressurized water, um, I've built this funnel on one end and a quick connect on the other end. And they just uh, connect right here. I just got a quick connect cap in it. You just pop the cap out, um, either plug the hose in or the funnel in and you can fill it up. Um, it has, a drain right here if you ever need to empty it and it's also connected to this tankless water heater which runs off the propane uh, let me show you how that works so this just uh, latches on here and uh, it'll swivel any way you need it it also has a start stop button here to conserve water uh, this, by the way, is a cup holder, so when the doors close, there's a cup holder in bed. Um, but to turn this on, just uh, switch this shut off here to the on position. And then as soon as you hit the uh, start button here, you'll hear the uh, water heater turn on immediately on its own. And it's uh, perfectly hot water saying uh, 101 is the temperature right now. In addition to the shower, I also have a quick connect for a hose connection. Uh, this here pops in here. Give it a little twist. And uh, just takes a second for the air to come out of the line. But uh, then you have a hose, you could actually wash your van with your own van. 
works really well. You can put it on shower. Over here in the center, I have some uh, removable uh, dowels for uh, surfboard racks. Depending on how wide your surfboard is, it's a couple different options. Um, you can also use these if you want to uh, just store some stuff back here that you don't want sliding around while you're driving. Um, I've got a uh, fork mounted bike rack right here. You just have to take the front wheel off and it latches into that. Um, over here, you've got the tank for the diesel heater. Super simple to refill and just unscrew that and fill it up at the gas station. Um, and then uh, the unit is uh, uh, boxed in over here so you can still store stuff and not have to worry about uh, crushing any of the duct work. Um, back to the solar system, we've got 200 amp hour lithium ion battleborn batteries. Um, 2000 watt inverter with 4000 watt surge power charge controller which also has um, alternator charging while you're driving uh, fuse box here um, if you're ever um, at a campsite and you want to plug into shore power you can just unplug this here plug that into an extension cord and all of the um, 110 outlets will run off uh, this extension cord, including the TV. But like I said, I pretty much have everything running off 12 volt. Um, so it's probably not gonna be needed, but it's there if you ever want it. Uh, back on the inside, um, in addition to the funnel, I also have this uh, kind of portable uh, toilet that's included. Um, you just put a garbage bag over that, kind of like for emergencies only type of thing. Um, but it's there if you need it. Okay, so that's gonna be it for uh, this van tour. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be building uh, two or three more of these um, this year and they'll all be for sale. They'll all be uh, brand new vans as well, just like this one. And um, like I said, this one's sold already. So um, um, if you wanna buy something similar, cause I'll be building a few more, uh, subscribe here on YouTube. I'll be making videos along the way again. And uh, follow me on Instagram. I put some uh, posts on there along the way as well. Um, also, um, if you have any suggestions, uh, anything we should do different on the next one, uh, leave a comment. Maybe a shower over here would be good on one of them. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.